What's going on guys? Connor owns fast food here back at the brand new video. We're just leaving the post office. Sold a bunch of stuff yesterday on eBay. Before we go to Burger King, I'm gonna make a quick stop inside this consignment gallery. They have 60% off everything. I was hoping that I would find some type of uh, Salvador Dali like canvas print like not an original obviously the originals goes for thousands and thousands of dollars but i have a bunch of the prints in my room got like this asian cabinet uh pretty dope got the engraved like dragons up here 275 i mean they were asking 700 but anyone could ask anything for something doesn't mean it's worth it that's why i tell people on ebay all the time you gotta check completed listings pretty cool piece this uh, denim jacket by uh, dkny jeans and uh, it's got patches on the front i like how it's like spelled out i'm not gonna pick it up because i looked on ebay they don't go for that much it'll probably be like ten dollars and it only sells for 30 so i don't think it's worth the flip so i didn't find anything this trip but uh, honestly it's a good thing i didn't because i have so much stuff at home i need to list take pictures of over 200 items and right now I have like 550 on eBay, so I need to fill that up. I think it's $60 a month I pay. I could have up to a thousand listings listed and sold, which is pretty cool. It sucks because I'm already past like the $20 basic store, which is 250 items, but then I'm not far enough to reach the $60 thousand item limit so it's like i'm stuck in between i can't go back to the 20 dollar one but i have to stay at the 60 dollar one because i have 550 items on ebay just logged up the vintage booty we made it to burger king so today we're trying the chicken cordon bleu and i've had chicken cordon bleu before like my dad makes it at home it's really good fried chicken ham and cheese inside and usually it's melted cheese so it's really delicious hopefully it's something similar like that we're leaving burger king we got the chicken cordon bleu it was very expensive this thing weighs about a half a pound and it was six dollars and 25 Four cents ridiculous all right guys we made it home we got our Burger King here I'm very skeptical about this review the sandwich doesn't look too big for six dollars and 24 cents I should have just got like the two for five dollar Whopper deal I think it is I have to try this new chicken cordon bleu it is really gooey and messy which I do like so I was just walking over to take a thumbnail of the video and I'm really anxious to take a bite of this thing Mm. It's pretty good. The cheese is a little bit different than I'm used to for chicken cordon bleu. We got like an American cheese. We got ham, a crispy chicken sandwich with a really good bun. Still definitely not worth $6.25. There is lots of cheese dripping out of the back. It looks really delicious with that vitamin G. Mm. This sandwich could easily be $4.25. I don't know why it was $6.25 for just a sandwich. Mm. It is really good, but that price is still just killing me in my head. Could have went to Panda Express and got a plate, which is $7.10, and usually that gives me about two meals. The chicken quality on this sandwich is getting very bad. So that's one thing that's really just pushing my buttons. It should be a lot better than what it is. The only time I go to Burger King nowadays is when I just get a chicken sandwich for a dollar, or a 10 piece nugget for a dollar fifty, and then a regular cheeseburger. And that's just like the perfect combo. Now we're taking the last bite of the chicken cordon bleu at Burger King. In my opinion, it was pretty good. The chicken quality just kind of sucked. Either I just got really unlucky, go to like Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, Wendy's, any other fast food place, and you'll definitely be a lot happier. So I wouldn't suggest a chicken cordon bleu to any of my friends like, yo, go try that sandwich. It's really delicious. If you want to waste $6, go ahead and try it. Or even just going for the classic Big Mac. I would not waste your money on the new chicken cordon bleu sandwich at Burger King. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below what you guys think of the chicken cordon bleu at Burger King. Make sure you guys become a subscriber and have a nice day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.